wetlands are areas where water and land meet. They vary greatly in size, ranging from your garden pond to large estuaries and deltas such as the Okavango Delta. They provide an invaluable habitat for wildlife, and in the UK they make up only about 3% of the country but provide a home to 10% of all species. Gabby and I from the iScience TV team decided to visit London's wetland centre and the diversity of waterfowl we encountered was staggering, providing a haven for migrating and local species. What's more, we realised that this wetland was essentially a huge pantry for the birds we saw. Despite being the beginning of December, the birds were very active, foraging and eating everywhere we looked, and all needs were clearly being catered to. For example, let's look at the herbivorous birds. The two brown birds in the centre of the frame are a pair of European wigeons. Their diet is predominantly grass, and their bills have adapted to this grazing behaviour, hence why they are shorter compared to other relatives who have longer bills to forage in the water. They look like they're definitely having a great time grazing. Now how about the more omnivorous birds? Let's take the moorhen and coots. Here we see a juvenile moorhen grazing as well. They usually eat insects, fruits and seeds, as well as water weeds. Coots, who are related to Mohan, have a very similar diet. We can see one here foraging for aquatic plants. These two species do extremely well, having adapted to man-made water habitats quickly and having a varied diet, allowing them to forage for plants when insects and fruits are scarce. And finally, the more carnivorous birds. Let's look at the great crested grebe. It feeds predominantly on fish and small crustaceans. Its slim outline, flat head and razor sharp bill makes it easily recognisable as it glides on the water. It dives and then re-emerges with a fish that it quickly ingests. We saw it catch quite a few fish in the space of 15 minutes, so clearly an efficient hunter doing very well. Another carnivorous bird is the cormorant, a familiar sight in parks around London, especially in the position this one is adopting, wings stretched out to allow its feathers to dry. We can therefore safely assume this cormorant has been hunting around and finding prey in the water, a good sign that the wetland is providing this bird exactly what it needs. So, here we have it. Birds with different kinds of diet thrive at the London Wetland Centre, being able to forage for grass, aquatic plants and fish. But this is not the end. Just so you know, we will definitely be going back to the centre once lockdown is eased, to bring you more bird-related content, so stay tuned.